So I'm still here at Lanai Cat Sanctuary. The topic I want to talk about today though is uh, Qualcomm and Nuvia. Now if you've seen some of my other videos, Nuvia is a company that was built from old Apple and Google engineers, arguably the engineers that built the M1, and Qualcomm acquired them earlier this year. What's your minimum specification? So this news is probably fairly brief, right? So Nuvia, company formed, Gerard William, John Bruno, uh, Manu Galati, and their goal when they, start, when they were a startup was to make the best server processor, best ARM-based server processor at least, with the kind of back-end goal of be, being able to outshine x86 in every instance. Now we see how well Apple does with M1, you know, some of these people were behind M1, some of them worked at Google under TPUs. So the idea was to essentially set the server CPU world alight. And they raised a lot of money. Qualcomm purchased them. And uh, CEO Cristiano Amon, he had the... His idea is that he wants to blow Intel out of the water in laptops. If you've ever used a Windows on a Snapdragon device, battery life is great. Some of the software support is still patchy and always questions about exactly whether it's enough performance in in the ultra thin and light what the nuvia acquisition allows them to do is build a new laptop cpu and a new laptop soc with the adreno graphics to compete against intel you know on a more global scale and uh, recently uh, qualcomm announced that they're supporting now 64-bit x86 emulation with windows 11 on their current you know eight 8CX Gen 2, 8CX Gen 1 devices. So that's going to be fun, but Nuvia is making, we're not sure if they're making a core or an SOC. The reason why I'm here in Hawaii is for Qualcomm's uh, Snapdragon Tech Summit. I don't know if they're going to say anything about Nuvia here specifically, but I do want to ask them whether it's a core or an SOC that they're doing. Now, the important thing to note here is the timeline. So Qualcomm acquired Nuvia, at the time, they said the chip is going to be aiming for you know, late 22, early 23. What Qualcomm announced at their investor day is they're sticking to that roadmap. I had to switch cameras because run out of battery. Still got lots of cats around me. But the reason why I say the Nuvia team is important kind of implies that uh, Qualcomm is keeping the teams separate internally. So the cryo team, which normally goes into their Snapdragon SOCs, is different to the Nuvia team, which is different to the Adreno team, which is different to the Hexagon team. So I'm not sure what level of autonomy Nuvia are getting in that instance. I, as I understand it, they're still based in the same office they were when uh, before they were acquired by Qualcomm. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic, especially because I really want an answer to whether they're creating core or whether they're creating SOC. If they're creating an SOC, then we might have a situation where we have Nuvia performance cores, Nuvia efficient cores, and then you know, Adreno graphics on top of that, and then 5G and all that jazz. If they're just making a core, then we might see a Nuvia high performance core with a cryo efficient core, and then the rest of the stuff. But the whole idea is that Nuvia making a laptop chip, and it's gonna. the idea is that it blows Intel out of the water. This is, a, again, another question I want to put to Cristiano, whether that product's competition is going to be... It's going to be whether it's going to be Apple, because their CPU is going to be ARM-based, or whether it's going to be Intel, because it's going to run Windows. And then, assuming it you know, runs x86 better than x86 runs x86, then we might really have an interesting prospect in store. I can't wait to get one, and I'm pretty sure this guy can't as well. This one's been following me around all day. Though, if you really want to... So, I'm, I'm here at Lanai Cat Sanctuary, like I said. At a trip um, that Qualcomm has paid for, because Qualcomm Tech Summit, so I'm not sure whether I should say... You know, the trip is sponsored by Qualcomm. Um, so, definitely, they're getting credit, and this is just... I came a day early to get over the jet lag and come to the Cat Sanctuary see these. Hopefully the video about the cat sanctuary is going up as well soon. Make sure you catch that. 
But the whole Qualcomm Nubia thing really does interest me. I can't wait until they put the Nubia engineers in front of me so we get to quiz them and we get to find out exactly what they've been doing. Nuvia exists because Apple didn't want to do a server CPU. These are the guys that built the M1, decided they want to do a server CPU. Now that they're not doing that, I always question the impetus whether they really want they really want, you know, to do a laptop CPU and they just didn't want to do a server CPU. So maybe Qualcomm's giving them say, okay, once this is out of the way, we'll go look at server. And this is what they're also saying officially, that you know we'll explore other avenues. Are you getting up now? Whether they'll explore other avenues um, for the hardware. I think they're gonna see if the uh, the Nuvia CPU and laptops works first before expanding it to everywhere else. Though yeah, pretty shrewd acquisition I think by Qualcomm. Surprised somebody else didn't buy them up sooner. What do you think? Leave a comment downstairs. My main specification here is Nuvia got to deliver, but they've got the personnel, so pretty confident. Let's give this boy a big scratch. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have now a private Discord server. And if you want access to that, become a Patreon member and it'll instantly add you as long as your emails are linked. You can join the Patreon for as little as $1.50 a month and it all goes back into helping the channel. Thank you for your support.